Well, Rob and Judy, one of the happiest moments in the history of the Blackhawks when they won the Stanley Cup in 2010 was also a time when one of the players suffered a devastating sexual assault, he says, an incident that investigators found and they leading to a reckoning within the franchise and also a major shakeup of team management. Stan Bowman is no longer the general manager of the Chicago Blackhawks. His departure, along with another executive announced today, following the results of an investigation into the handling of allegations that one of the team's coaches, Bradley Aldridge, sexually assaulted two players shortly before the Stanley Cup 2010 championship. The report is both disturbing and difficult to read. The Blackhawks hired an attorney to investigate following a pair of lawsuits against the franchise. Former federal prosecutor Reed Shar talked to nearly 140 witnesses over four months. The Blackhawks owned sexual harassment policy, which required investigation of all reports of sexual harassment to be conducted promptly and thoroughly was violated. Shar said in 2010, Aldridge sexually assaulted a then 20-year-old player referred to as John Doe. That player informed management, but the investigation found that no action was taken until after the team won the Stanley Cup. The result of the investigation prompted the NHL to fine the Blackhawks $2 million. It is clear that in 2010, the executives of this organization put team performance above all else. After leaving the Blackhawks in 2010, Aldrich was later convicted of sexually assaulting a minor in 2013. The Blackhawks apologized to John Doe, who issued this statement. Although nothing can truly change the detriment to my life over the past decade because of the actions of one man inside the Blackhawks organization, I'm very grateful to have the truth be recognized. John Doe's attorney says she respects how the investigation was conducted and hopes the team will do right by her client. I'm hoping that their words are not fluff, that they really mean what they say, and we can all move forward. Now, investigator Reed Shar also said that former Blackhawks head coach Joel Quinville uh, was aware of the sex assault allegations, as was the former assistant general manager Kevin Cheveldeoff. Quinville is now the head coach of the Florida Panthers. Cheveldeoff is now the general manager of the Winnipeg Jets. And today, NHL Commissioner Gary Bet Bettman announced this afternoon that he plans to arrange personal meetings with both men to discuss their roles in the events detailed in the report. Live at the United Center, Karen Jordan, ABC7 Eyewitness News.